quick demonstration of the Excel data logging and uh, it's a modified spreadsheet and I'll just crank it up and you have to enable macros and ActiveX controls when the spreadsheet's loading and it uses a uh, PLX DAQ data acquisition software which is freely available on the internet you have to remember to set the port to match the pickaxe uh, USB programming lead and that's the standard lead I'm using which we were using with the early generations of the uh, master software it's just plugged into the master socket on the master board and into one of the USB ports uh, so then you click connect and now the spreadsheet is waiting to receive the data there's two sheets in this spreadsheet we have one that's uh, raw data and one that is the converted data I'm getting the spreadsheet to do some of the work here to avoid the uh, master having to do too much and leaving code space free so the cell voltages when they come in are the raw cell voltages which need the additional 175 adding to them to re recreate the voltages so it's the same as if they were being transmitted by the slaves so I'll now, I can't, although you can't see this, I'm actually operating the uh, master menu now and I'm now going to uh, initialize the data output which is on the sub menu 3 and you can see the data now starting to come in the DAQ says it's BMS data coming in and you can see this is the raw data um, amp sign needs changing to a plus or a minus and you can see the various cell voltages for the 8 cells so now I'm going to go onto the corrected spreadsheet I haven't filled in the bits all to the right yet still some work to do on that but you can see that the voltages have been converted now to the correct cell voltages and uh, if we just scroll down we'll see that this is uh, chugging in as we speak there it is and the cell data is continuing to come in and this uh, once the loop is working correctly in the master then this data will arrive once a second so you'll get the voltage for every cell and uh, the other bit ancillary parts, state of charge etc once per second and this obviously can continue uh, while a charging cycle is in progress for instance um, for as long as you like um, I think the capacity of XL is 65,000 rows so 65,000 seconds basically uh, which uh, probably should give enough for most, uh, most data acquisition applications so we're getting there and uh, I'll keep you updated on this as we continue